Hello folks, welcome back. In this tutorial, we're going to do a very simple Hello World example and this is how the Eclipse looks like when you open your Eclipse. This should be the page. And here I'm going to go ahead and create a new project and it's going to be a Java project. So I'm going to go ahead and do other and it's going to say Java project. So select that Java project. Let's say we it'll ask you for the name of the project. So we'll say basic Java. This is the name of the project. And the environment that we're using or the Java runtime that we're using is Java 1.8. So we're going to go ahead and click next. And this is the folders. Just click finish. No. So on, on the left hand side, you see a project getting created. And in this folder, there is a folder called source. And this is called the JRE. So just so you can think like a JRE is a, is a machine or is a software that's going to go ahead and run your program. Okay, so that's what it's going to go. So it's, there's different, different versions of Java available. The latest one is Java 1.8. That's what we're going to use. So here, the first thing is, I know there will be a lot of things that won't be very familiar to you right now, but just hold in there. We're going to go ahead and talk about that, that those in the coming tutorials. So the way to write your program is you everything in Java is a class. So we'll say what class is. So we'll go up here, we'll create a class and we'll say the name of my class is hello world. And it should, so this is going to be, it should also have a main method. We'll talk about what main method is. So this is how you're going to go ahead and look to your first class has been created. The name of the class is hello world. There is a method in the class that is called as a main method. And in that main method, you have the you're going to write your statements. So don't worry about what all this right now. We're going to talk about them. But so this is how you write your first program. And in this particular program, this is called as the code that you have to write it because you are in Java, because you are doing something in Java. So these are the things that you have to do all the time. So here, let's say I wanted to go ahead and welcome you. So I'll write a statement to print on the screen. So the command to do that is system.out.println. So let's say if I want to say welcome everyone to Java world. So now this is my simple program. This is the main statement that you need to focus on. We'll talk about the rest of those, but this is the main thing. So this is the system dot of out dot print Helen is like a way of telling your computer to print something. So what it's going to print is it's going to go ahead and print whatever you have written in these double quotes. So that's how it's going to go ahead and print it. So now if you want to run it, you can click on this button and you can say run. So you have to click on this particular run as and you say Java application. So right click on this one. Right click on this one and you say run as Java application. This is the way to run your simple program. Now here you're going to say welcome everyone to Java board. So whatever you're going to write in these double quotes, that's how you're going to go ahead and everything is going to go ahead and print it here. So if here I added something like my name is Deepika. So now you have changed it. Don't forget to save the program. Once you save it, you click either you can click on this run and you go and go to the run as Java application. Or you can just do right click where in the program and you can say run as Java application. So now it has added a new line, which is my name is Deepika also. So this is your simple hello world program. And in this hello world, we have created a class. We have a method. It's called a main method. And in the main method, the most important thing that you have to look at is, is this line system.out.println. And we have entered a statement within the double quotes. And when you run this program, it has printed that statement over here. So this is the way of writing and we have written our first program. So anything that you write in the double quotes, it's going to print it out. It is one more thing. Let's say I'll say hello world to everyone. So if I go ahead and run this one more time, it's going to print this line. So this just I'll request you to do the same example, follow the same steps. 
if you made any mistakes that's fine try to follow me and you will be able to get the same result that I got it I'll see you in the next tutorial thank you so much